Turnovers, huh? Awesome. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Um, obviously, just a great win. Uh, this team continues to improve. Uh, Gill is still, I mean, the best place for game atmosphere. It was, it was absolutely awesome out there tonight. And um, hats off to UCLA for doing what they do, uh, playing tough, playing athletic, um, answering just like you knew they would. And I'm um, just proud of this team for overcoming everything that, that they bring. They're an incredible team. And for us to take care of the basketball like we didn't down there, only 12 turnovers tonight. And it just shows the progress and the progression of this group um, as they've stayed with it through all the tough lessons and just gotten better week after week. And it also speaks to the leadership of Marie, um, you know, as a senior, and then Katie and Taylor, of course, as juniors. But um, Maria sets the tone for this team every day, and this group kept their head just like she does, cool and calm all the time. And um, you know her example has spread throughout this group, and her expectations are high. And this team rose to those awesome expectations tonight, and I just couldn't be more proud of the fight. And um, it was a, obviously a great win. Marie, you know, they missed a shot with seven six seconds left, and I'm thinking you know, somebody's going to get fouled. You have the ball. How did you not get fouled? How did that? How did the time kind of uh, run out, and, and what was that feeling like when it finally did? Um, I was just, honestly, I was just thinking, squeeze the ball, hold the ball, <laughs> don't lose the ball. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, when the time ran out, I, I was just super happy. I mean, didn't really realize it, like, even the beep, I couldn't really hear because everything was just, like, so, like, overwhelming at that point. But um, now that it's over and I think about it, um, I'm just very excited for the team and very proud of the effort we had tonight and just like the preparation and everything, yeah. Can you talk a little about Marie? She had 10 points after three quarters. She scored 14 of your 25 in the fourth quarter and in overtime. Just how big, she obviously stepped up. Just how big was she in that, that the last, what, 15 minutes of the game? Yeah, I mean, she just executed to perfection and also Scott's play calls down the stretch were on point. I mean, getting the ball to Marie was our focus and uh, she came up big for us and yeah, I'm super proud of her. You guys have been in some of these close games lately and you guys have really grown. How much have been, you know, like last Friday night being in a tight one, you know, the Oregon game here and just how much have you guys kind of grown and learned how to close out these type of games? You know, just emphasizing uh, offensive rebounds and then execution on offense and I thought we did both of those things Pretty well tonight. <laughs> Scott, when you get you guys get a pretty good look at a possible game winning basket at the end of regulation, you come so close to going in, you go to overtime, just what is your message to the team right before you get ready to go to overtime? Yeah, well we've been here before, right? And man, that shot was down. That was amazing. <laughs> um, you know, what a what a finish that would have been. Um, however, you, that goes down and then, you know, you get into the huddle and it's like, okay, five more minutes, you know, and ever we're grinding. And it was very similar to the Oregon game, uh, except we were the team that scored last on a beautiful finish by Katie on the lob. And, and so um, I didn't feel the same energy, though, to start that overtime. And it was kind of evident. We didn't start the overtime with, that, with the best energy. Um, and so it, it, it seems, man, we're a little bit tired. I felt like they had a little momentum. But this team just executed, you know, and, and – we got a layup to Marie and then Kat hit that three, you know, back to back and we're right in it. And so uh, I didn't have to give them that speech like the Oregon game we did, you know, and this team has done exceptionally well in execution in all three overtimes we've been a part of so far. And so it was just refocusing, okay, next play, you know, and so um, it's very comforting to know that you've got a group that's going to handle those circumstances and keep their head and, and play to win. Did you guys have anything uh, extra for UCLA after your performance down at Poly Pavilion earlier this season? Yeah, the same that uh, we had the last three years. You know, I mean, that's happened. We, we intend to play them right off the bat in conference. They've beaten us the last three years down there in kind of demoralizing fashion all three years. You know, um, you know, three years ago we didn't have Sydney, you know, and we thrown Katie to the Wolves, you know, at the one that year. 
down there, which is tough. Uh, then last year they got momentum at the end of the third to start the fourth quarter and just kind of ambushed us with their pressure and we didn't handle it very well. Demoralizing loss, we're up six going into the fourth. And then this year, obviously, maybe the worst performance that we've had in my eight years here, to be honest, when you look back at it, just absolutely crushed us down there. And it was one of those games where you just have to put it aside, you know, and go on to the next. And I think the progression, you know, that, that we've talked about that this team's on and the battles that we've been through and all that they've learned and, you know, has prepared them for this tonight. And, you know, doing what we did in the Oregon game here, doing what we did to Arizona State, honestly, after that, that L.A. weekend, all those battles have prepared us, you know, for this. And it's like it's a new game, you know. And, and so I think that we had a fresh slate going into tonight's game. But we had the knowledge of what it was going to take and how hard it was going to be based upon our first game, you know. So that game was sobering. But this, this program has been built on courage and, uh, you know, the belief that why not us? You know, and so tonight you look at them, you're like, man, that team's exceptional, you know, but why not us? We're, let's find a way to beat them. Sydney Weiss, LA Times. Uh, <laughs> oh uh, senior day is on Sunday. What is the mindset going in for both the players? Um, just giving all you got. I mean, hopefully this is not the last home game, so hopefully we get the rounds for the NCAA tournament here. But um, just having just having a great mindset and just playing as a team, I mean, this is a take all the momentum from today and play against USC. It's another game. And um, even though it's senior day, I'm just like super excited to be, be, be f like playing in front of Beaver Nation again. The atmosphere is going to be crazy with all the Marie heads. <laughs> so I'm super excited about yeah. that. And just we want to get it done for Marie. And we're going to bring a great effort. Any further questions? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Marie, could you just talk about your progression here at Oregon State? I mean, you, you started off behind Ruth, but now you're really a focal point of the offense. And I, I think that's uh, it's just nice to see your growth. And I, I don't know what you'd like to say about that, but I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm just super thankful for the opportunity. I came here as like a, like a post player, but I didn't know how much I still had room to grow and like my mindset and mentality. So um, I'm just very thankful for like all my f like last teammates, Sid, Gabby, they always like taught me to be like so tough and strong. And then Ruth obviously made it tough on me. And I think just like throughout those three years that just, it just made me mentally very strong. And then Scott is a very good coach. So um, I think I had the best support ever and I'm super thankful and grateful for the opportunity. All right. Go, Go Beefs! Go Beefs! <laughs> <laughs>